Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be covering um, uh, nuclear reactors for Industrial Craft 2. Um, to get started explaining this basic setup, what we have here is a full MFSU. I have it set to redstone behavior emit if full. So basically it'll emit a redstone signal if um, its energy is full. And then I have a redstone torch here that's off um, because if, if you're unsure about vanilla redstone mechanics if you're emitting a redstone signal on a redstone torch it'll actually turn it off and then we have some redneck cables from mine factory reloaded going into the nuclear reactor so essentially if we run out of power um the redstone uh the redstone emission will be turned off turning the redstone torch on turning the reactor on so let's put a mfsu like right here there we go all right, so it's running out of energy, and uh, that's emitting a redstone signal telling the nuclear reactor to turn on. So what we have here is a basic nuclear reactor setup with um, overclocked heat vents here, um, component heat exchangers here, and some component heat vents here, and our six fuel rods of uranium. This is a really basic reactor setup. Um, if you want to make a bigger reactor, you gotta add on reactor chambers, which you can do like so. Um, all around like this. Cool. Alright, so, and then we just put one more there. Alright, so, we got a full nuclear reactor now. Um, this will still run as if it was just one reactor chamber, um, so that's okay. Um, you can look up, like, a lot of good nuclear reactor designs on the nuclear reactor forum thread on IC2, um, the IC2 forums those provide a, a lot of really good reactor designs. Um, over here we have glass fiber cabling leading out here. If you were doing a really really big design I would highly advise to get a um, one of these things. Where are you? Where are you? Oh yeah yeah EV transformer. What you're going to want to do, um, if you if you have a design that goes above 2048 EU per tick, you're going to want to put this down like this, and that'll step it down to 2048, um, and it'll basically collect um, 8192, I believe, is the upward limit. I don't think you can go above that. So, fix step down. There we go. So, that would step it down to a safe limit if you had, um, if you had it admitting more EU than it should. Um, also, another thing to note is, always wear a hazmat suit with rubber boots and a scuba helmet when you're handling, um, uh, fuel rods of uranium or processed uranium of any kind. Um, unprocessed uranium is okay, um, but here, let's, let's use an example of why you want to not be holding this and take me out of creative mode. Alright, so... We got a lot of bad things going on in a minute. It says frostbite. Interesting. Why am I not taking damage? Okay, just trust me when I say holding this is really bad. It'll kill you really fast. I don't know why this isn't killing me right now. Yeah, I have no clue why this isn't killing me right now, but this thing will kill you quickly if um if you don't have a hazmat suit on and a whole bunch of other nasty stuff. I, I don't know why it didn't kill me then. That was, that was really interesting. All right, um, I think that pretty much covers the basics of a nuclear reactor setup. Um, I'll cover the whole automation of processing and whatnot with applied energistics uh, in a, another video. So um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day and see you later.